we are here at Daikoku. I gotta show you the most interesting skyline I've seen in a long time. So check this out. From the front, it's an R34. But from the back, as you can see, it's an R33. That's crazy. This is a chronicle of my personal experience exploring the real life equivalent of Initial D. This is real street racing and drifting in the mountain roads of Gunma. This is Drift Hunter. So many cars. Yeah, so many. So we are here at Daikoku Futo. It's Friday night and there are a ton of cars. Let's do a quick walk around to see all the cool stuff that's here. Yeah, it's a good car show today. Wow. I haven't seen Daikoku this crowded in quite a while. Probably because it was winter. Yeah, car. Wow. What's really cool is that Daikoku Futo is a place where even families will come together and hang out. With their it's, babies. It's, yeah, and it, it's 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 not just the like a guy thing. It's a it's a family thing. Yeah, the love you of cars. Go check out the Uber the... over there. Today's insane, man. Yeah. have really grown on me. The GTRs? Yeah. No? Look at those fog lights. Pretty sweet. It looks so good. Especially with this kit. This guy definitely like just drives everything as it is, like stock. Like every repair, like make it look good. This fair lady. This beautiful lady. Look pretty average. Probably a show car more than a race car. Amazing fitness. No, no, the rocket bunny beside it. Uh. <laughs> wow. Oh no, that dude, this, this was the stalled car. This was the one that was uh, stalled on the highway. Oh, really? We saw along the way, yeah, that's it. Look, look at look at this, look at this. What's, what's going on with this, this skyline? This yeah. Why, what's this what's about this one? Look, it's uh, R34 front, R33 rear. Oh, right. Skyline expert, but just 
tell us what you think. Just point point your phones out. Oh, no, this, one, out. this one definitely caught my attention. The green one? Yeah, with the crazy paint. I've never seen this kind of paint. All, all 32s. Mostly 32s. Over here, 32s as well. And they're all GTSCs. Yep. I think these are all the GTSCs. Oh no, it's most of them. Yeah. Fast of Japanese car culture. Does it have a name? Like uh, Ameri trucks? Like it's not even American trucks. Eh, it's like a Jeep, Pajero, Pajero. Yeah, Mitsubishi Pajero. Kind of like the lifted truck scene. Yeah. This over here. Is this a Cobra? It's the, it's the one we saw, right? Is this a Cobra? No, no. It, I have no idea what this is. It's a Porsche. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Yep, I saw this on the highway on the. Oh, you did? Yes, yeah, I saw it. Oh, yeah, we saw this together. Maybe it's the one. Yeah, it might be the same one. Like, what the heck is this? With the with the shitty rear screen. Wow. Yeah, this might be it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super old Carrera. Wow. These aren't official parking spots, so they're saying the trucks cannot get out, so you need to move your cars immediately. And they're like so nice about it. They're like, please move your car. Could you please, everybody, please move your car? Guys, guys, are you listening? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Please. Don't block. Don't go the wrong way, so. Oh, cars can only go this way. Right in front of the police. Yeah, that, that, that's like a no no. Really? Like provoking them is like, you don't do that. Like, bad idea? Bad idea. So when you start doing like, you know, uh, burnouts in front of the police cars, that's that's like a no-no. You don't want to provoke them just because they're nice because they won't crack down if you like fuck with them. Japanese resident who speaks Japanese and who grew up here. What is your opinion on, on these sexy magazines? And just like the, the whole adult industry. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with the internet, so, you know, why paper? <laughs> that's my honest, <laughs> honest opinion. Land FC.
you guys might know by now, an R34 GTR is my dream car. And well, today's my birthday, and I hope that next year I, I will be able to get it for my next birthday. So uh, we'll see. Bit of a jam here. Such a clean interior. What is this? Is this bus like a tour bus that, that's coming, dropping people off to check out the GTR? Oh, check it out. There's a McLaren over there. There you go. So I'm going to have a seat inside this V-Spec too. And it's like the nicest. Oh my god, it's so nice. Uh, <laughs> It still smells new. What the heck? Like a new car smell. Whoa. How's it feel? It's super, super, super nice. Like, I, I can't believe how new it feels and how new it looks. These seats are incredibly bolstered. Oh my gosh. Like, it's like carbon trim all around. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. That to us, punch. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's so nice. This, this is my dream. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everything looks very new, uh -huh. very, very clean. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh my god. I can't do it. I can't do it. Dude, this steering wheel feels so nice. You, you, wanna, you wanna have a seat? Oh uh, boy. You good? You good? No, let me close the door real quick. Okay. So, It's like, okay, so like sitting here, like this, it really helps you kind of visualize your goal. And now I'm like, okay, this is, this is crazy, but this is attainable and I'm gonna do it. And uh, thank you guys for supporting this crazy journey because this is one of like the end goals, you know, like driving an R3 or B-Spec 2 GTR. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. This is like my favorite interior ever. This steering wheel is just incredible to hold. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I can hear the intakes going. Wow. Look over here, look, look at this. I, I love, it, it, it looks kind of old, but that's the point. It looks like a PlayStation game. Yeah. Wow. You know, speedometer too, look at that. 320. Small. Yeah, wow. Top speed 320. Oh my god. Can I, can I see? I wanna, I wanna show the interior the interior bits. Like, look at this interior. Oh my god. Extinguisher over here. And these seats are super super nice. The whole thing is like over here. The trim looks so new. Guys, I have never wanted something so badly in my entire life. This is probably the sickest car I've ever sat in, bar none. So here's a quick quick walk around of this incredible V-Spec 2 GTR. Thank you. All right. It's got the musical wheels. With the iconic lights.
So you know what I was thinking just now? I, I, I feel like there are like moments in like a car guy's life yep. where you have like this pivotal moment where you're like, okay, if I want this car, I gotta fucking work really, really hard and be really successful. Or really, really lucky. Or, or yes, or yeah. <laughs> but probably work really hard. Or both. Yes, all, all, all of the above. But point is, that was one of those moments where my expectation lived up to reality. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a really good car. God, make it happen. Oh my God. I've never wanted a car more badly in my life. It smelled new. That was weird. It smells super new. Must take, must take care of it. Yeah. Canton, can you tell us about the police over here? Uh, tell us a little bit about the police. I don't know. I mean, that sign right there on the back, it says, go right. Yeah. Whatever that means. How are the police like over here? Generally, not too aggressive. Why do you think that is? Like, over in... Because people don't cause trouble. And when people start causing trouble, they'll definitely... They'll fuck with you. By the way, I want to say that this entire video was shot on my iPhone 10, so... Like, pretty good video quality, eh? And uh, it's very stable. Yeah, the camera's really good. Yep. Alright, yo. Yeah, Alright, guys, super random, but I, I just went into this guy named Justin, and he drives, he also drives uh, an R34 GTR. So, we're gonna ask him a few questions about, yeah, like, uh, how he was able to get this car. So, dude, like, first things first about how much should, should I be saving for to get a car like this? Um, you could save at least 30, 40. Yeah. And now, but looking at uh, how the prices are going up right now, so 40 to 50 to be safe. Yeah. Good car, good yeah. mileage. Do you think for about that much, like it'll be good quality, like a good condition? Um, auction wise, you can talk to somebody that goes to auction. Yeah. Then you can go with them if you want to see the car yourself yeah. and check it out yourself. Nice. But for me, I went to a, a company. Yeah. So I didn't see a car at all. So it was just a surprise. Oh, it's a bit yeah. scary. Yeah. But it worked out. It's nice, eh? Yeah. It's really, really yeah. nice, bro. Oh. Yeah. Did it live up to your to your expectations? Um, yeah, everything lived, turned out pretty good. I worked on the uh, turn of time and everything. It's just got completed. So. so so you're you're Navy, right? Like a lot of there's a pretty big car scene with the Navy Air Force guys. Yeah, over here in Japan is it's pretty big. Like, so that, that's one way to drive a sports car in Japan. Come here. <laughs> In the army or something, right? Yeah, military. So yeah, military. Yeah, military. Think you all cars, JDM cars. Yeah, this this is really sick, man. Very inspirational. Thank you so much for the all quick right. interview, man. Problem, Thank you. Man. So, guys, so check out uh, Justin's Instagram, right, right here, right here. Check it out. It's got a sick car and inspirational life. This is a really, really nice wide body MR2. Me and Justin are looking for the yellow NSX. It's gotta be here somewhere, right? This is crazy. I mean, look at this insane maze of highways that goes around this entire parking area. Daikoku Fudo is really the mecca of car culture here. Wow, new NSX. are the cars that look like well they have anime stickers blasted all over the side they have what looks very similar to the drift hunter roadster this one's nice actually really really nice wow cool interior j limited 2 clean Those are really expensive. Like, like, 
This is a really, really nice civic. This is like a Kanjo civic. Really, you don't see these here every day. Very rare in Japan for some reason. coming to Daikokuto, basically there's drifting that sometimes happens on the other side of that, like the other side of, of, of this area, right? This, this uh, little strip, strip over here. And you can watch them sometimes people will drift on the road on the other side of that. Last the car before we head out of here, head out of here, is, is this Hakosuka skyline. So my phone is almost out of batteries. I'm gonna end this video right here. Thanks for watching this entire 20 minute video uh, And thanks for watching this is my birthday video. So yeah, happy birthday to me Woo. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Oh, this is a really really sick Lancer right here That's nice, that's nice. All right, this, this place is crazy. I'll be back. Thanks again for watching and uh, Today's Japanese word is what should we teach them? Ooh, look at that What's the Japanese word, Ken? Shoppai. 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 Salty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if that works. Catch you guys in the next video. Hey guys, it's Alba. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if this is your first time on my channel, thank you for giving my content a chance and watching all the way to the end. My goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers this year, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. For those of you guys who've been following me for a while, you might be wondering what's up with this new logo over here. Here? No, over here. The Hunters is basically my new parent brand for Drift Hunter, which is especially fitting since I've moved to Tokyo and I'll be exploring car culture beyond the drifting scene. I'm also really excited about some new clothing releases which you can check out at my merch store right here, thehunters.com. One of the things I'm most excited about are these new coach jackets. So check it out. The Drift Hunter logo is embroidered. It's really, really nice. You can also find sweaters and hats and t-shirts like you've always been able to. Planning to release a lot more cool stuff so please make sure to check out the site and make sure to use the code word BANANA10 to get 10% off your order. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.